time I'm going to be making uh, the 16 bean soup mix. And um, usually when I make bean soup, I'll make uh, like five pounds at a time if I have five pounds on hand. Sometimes I'll maybe just make four pounds, but uh, I freeze a lot of bean soup in quart size freezer bags for a later point in time. And it is just a way of just stretching your budget and it's a healthy choice uh, to have bean soup on hand uh, in the freezer that you can just take it out and put it in the refrigerator and uh, thaw it for a day or so in the refrigerator and then you've got yourself a handy okay. meal. Uh, okay, and I'm just going to rinse these uh, and um, after I get done rinsing them um, then I will, um, I'm just going to transfer fur them over into this bowl and when I get done washing them, this is a handy little thing that came with a wok um, that um, I use to um, dip the uh, beans out. So I'm just going to get them ready to soak overnight. It is a beautiful um, soup with all the different colors of beans. Um, I made up the 15 or 16 bean soup, I forget now which it was called, and um, see how nice and thick. Um, I don't want to freeze uh, and take up space with a watery uh, soup in the freezer. So you can always add more liquid uh, to it. I don't use chicken broth or beef broth anymore in my uh, bean soup. It's just spring water and the beans and onions and garlic powder and sea salt and pepper. That's all that's in here. So uh, see how it thickens. If you don't add too much water, um, the rule of thumb um, I think is like uh, two inches above uh, the beans. Uh, I, I don't know if I heard that, so I don't know how true it is. So anyhow, I have this little doohickey uh, that I'm putting the bean soup I've labeled it and I'm and put the date on it and I got this off the internet and basically you're really at your own risk using it because it's just the plastic clippy things at the top and it doesn't hold it very secure but it it does hold it open so you have to really have it um, anchored at the base good um, to let the base help to hold the sack since this is so flimsy this part here is so flimsy. okay see this little stand it does free up uh, and you can and it holds it open and you can dump it in you just have to clean around the edges at the top oh I just remember some uh, okay some. I forgot to put this um, that I use when I can tomato juice to keep the uh, rim of the quart jars clean. So I didn't do that right off the bat, but then I remembered to do it. So uh, basically, this uh, setup, you can fill these sacks up easier um, with whatever you're, whatever you're freezing. You just want to make sure not to, um, not to have the sack too full. And I probably have a two full. Okay, you want to leave enough space uh, an inch or so from the top of the zip part um, so that it has room for expansion. So there, I've got one quart ready to roll.